Hello, my dear students. Welcome back for another mini lecture in macroeconomics. As you might remember, last time we talked about a private closed economy, and our finding was as follows. Basically, we said that everything that is going to be in uh, saved it will be invested. That was our final outcome for the previous lecture. Now let's reintroduce uh, foreign trade and the government. So you might remember, initially we said that GDP, GDP, gross domestic product, is equal to what we call output, which is also almost equal to national income, must be equal to consumption plus investment plus government spending plus net exports. So last time we actually uh, got rid of government spending and net exports because we wanted to see what happens in an economy where there's no government in the rest of the world. But let's bring back these two elements here. Okay? So the main question in this case is what is disposable income? Now we do have the government, so disposable income must be different from what we said last time. Disposable income must be equal to income, right? Plus transfers minus taxes. What is transfers? Transfers are uh, something that get transferred by the government to the citizens of that particular country. You can uh, think of social security, for example. Right? And taxes is what we have to pay uh, to the government if the government exists in order to exist. It needs to collect receipts from, the, from its citizens, and those are taxes. Okay. So now you see that if we solve for Y, we will have the following expressions. YD minus transfers plus taxes. But what's disposable income? Well, we already discussed that. We know that there are only two things that we can do with disposable income. We can either consume it or we can save it. Now, if we substitute then C plus S into here, we will obtain the following expression. Now you see that we have basically two expressions for y. One is up here, and one is down below. I will try to leave those two expressions there, and I'm going to say that this portion is equal to this portion here. So let's see what happens. So let's rewrite it in the middle. So I can say that C plus I plus G plus NX is equal to C plus S minus TR plus TA. Okay, I can cancel, cancel our consumption, right? And if I rearrange these terms, I will obtain the following. G, so S minus I is equal to government spending plus transfers minus taxes plus net exports. Now, you can notice that the implication of this formula are quite interesting, of this simple equation are quite interesting. Basically, we're saying that everything that is left over from the saving after we subtract the investment goes to finance the budget of the government and the rest of the world. So in other words, we can use savings in this case to finance investments, the budget of the government, and the rest of the world. Thank you very much, my dear students. I'll see you next time.